Hey guys, it's Jen from Generator74, and I am back with another video, another card making tutorial. Um, this one I'm using another basic gray 6x6 pad that is very old. This is the Pyrus paper pad, and I absolutely love the colors in this paper. They are just right up my alley. So um, I colored up this little image and I did so using Copic uh, markers on craft cardstock um, which is I guess a technique now that you know is sort of hot and trendy or whatever um, and I do love it I like it a lot better than coloring on white um, paper it's just more my taste um, it's more muted, it's more sort of, it blends in with the papers better and it just has a better look to it, in my opinion. Um, the white paper that I used to color on was just so stark white and it would clash with a lot of the papers that I tend to use, which are more um, muted and sort of distressed looking. So that's why I think I like it so much. But anyway, um, I'm not even sure what this image is. Um, I can't remember. Is, is it a magnolia? I really am not sure. But anyway, it's adorable. So colored that in and just um, edged it with my good old brown Stampin' Up stamp pad that I use oh so often. I've got ink all over my fingers. Um, and again, with the craft card base, four and a quarter by five and a half, folded on the side. And this piece would be four by five and a quarter so that we have a bit of a um, border around and I normally just work on this base piece and then after I have everything assembled then I put it on the card base so these are my pieces for the inside um, again I'm going to use a piece of vellum just white vellum that I had here, I had used a piece of it on another project, so I'm just sort of using it up. So, because you can see your adhesive through the vellum, I recommend putting it um, where you know you're going to have another element on top so that it covers it up. So, um, I know that I'm going to have something right here and something up here, so that's where I'm going to put the um, adhesive. So, just get it sort of lined up like that, and let's rub my finger to make sure I get all the adhesive off on the edge here. So you can see the adhesive there, here, and here. Um, this is another piece of the pattern paper, and I just cut it in a circle, and I believe this is three and a quarter circle, and I use my Martha Stewart circle cutter which is my circle cutter of choice. I've had it for a long, long time and still going good with even the blades that came with it. I haven't had to buy any blades. So um, this piece is going to go right about there. These two tiny little pieces are one and a quarter by one and a quarter square and I have those planned out to go right here along this edge. Um, like that, have my image here, and then I'm going to layer these two pieces of paper to go down in this corner here. So that's how we're going to be putting it together. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some adhesive underneath, and I want to put this right about here, so I'll just stick some adhesive there spin it around, put some on this side, and then flip it over and then cut off that excess. Get that. Get my ink pad. Just ink up that edge so it looks like it was meant to be. Go like that. And then we're going to adhere these little pieces. And again, just like with the staples in my other videos, I don't put anything over top of them. I just run the adhesive right over top. It doesn't 
seem to do anything bad to my ATG gun and it's just easier. Why make it more difficult, right? Like, why make it harder than it needs to be? That's my... I mean, I'm crafting for fun and relaxation and it's nice to be able to give, um, you know, a handmade card to someone every now and then or to send them one when they need a little pick-me-up. Um, and I do sell some, mostly like at craft fairs and just the people um, that I work with. Um, so a piece of here. And this little piece with the image, the image, um, I just, it's a little under two by three and a half. Um, with the border, with the uh, matting on it. So that gives you an idea. I just made it that size so that it would fit in you know, over here in the space without um, overlapping those. And these, I just put two little brads um, in each piece, in approximately the same area there. Put a little, you know what? I think I'm gonna pop that up. That'll be neat. A little adhesive back here, and these again are the um, dimensionals that I got at Target a long time ago in the dollar bin. I bought a bunch of them, and they're still still fine. And I do use them. I like them because they're not really super high. You know, they add a little bit of dimension, but they're not like so much that it's um, too much, you know? You can put this through the mail easily without having to worry about it causing issues and getting crushed. Then I'll just put this lined up with the edge here like that. And that'll be our front. So we'll go ahead and get that attached to our card base. And I don't know, guys, I've just been recording with my um, smartphone. Um, it's not an iPhone, it's a Samsung, and it's going on two years old now, so um, it's definitely got its issues, but I find that it's working better than actually using my actual camera and loading it on the computer and then uploading it. It uploads so much faster, so go figure that one out. Um, and then for the inside, I just used um, scraps of the papers that I used on the front, and I picked a solid for the place to write on, um, and then I just cut down the pieces and inked them, just like I did on the front. And there's no special design, like I didn't follow a, um, a sketch or anything, I just, like I said, I don't make it real complicated. I like. I like to scrapbook and to make cards just because I find it enjoyable and I like the end product and it makes me feel good that I was able to create something. Um, so my job can be stressful. I don't, I don't want my crafting to be. It's my theory. So it'd be so nice if I could actually do this for a living. But I don't see that happening. Um, okay that lined up and then I just cut like a little banner here out of the white paper. Where do we want to put that? Do like it there? Do you like it there? Like it there? Let's see what the front looks like. Um, I'm gonna go with it right here. Like that. So then we have the front of our card and the inside. And then you can write here, and if you wanted to stamp a different sentiment here, you could, you know. So, that's my next card, and um, I might even shoot for a third one. We'll see. Um, so thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye!